Are we reopening the road today? We are. I'm Matthew Crenshaw. We're currently at Buzz City Games uh, in downtown Concord. And uh, as far as the construction goes, our event attendance isn't down, but our in-store sales are definitely down by about 20 to 25 percent, especially since they've closed our intersection down and it's just generally harder to get around. So foot traffic is down, but our regulars are still coming, so we're still in pretty good business. As they were pushing in and digging, they ended up, what, busting, I think they busted a line that caused a lot of standing water in our basement and it flooded it. I would say probably six inches worth of just sitting water. And, you know, it was basically anything that was on the floor was just flooded and totally ruined. Thankfully, nothing too valuable. So I'm Ashley Howell, I own the Lens Studio at 70 Union Street South. Um, I signed my lease in December of 2022, um, had my grand opening the last weekend in January 2023. Um, signed my lease knowing that there was going to be a downtown streetscape project. Um, great, wonderful, um, but they were supposed to be starting on the opposite side of the street. So what I found out was two days before my first event, which was in March of 2023, um, they were going to be closing the street down by me, um, and I had a chain link fence go up then, like two days before my event. So we made it through the event, and we kept doing pop-up markets, and different private events were still booked during that whole time, but literally have lived with a chain link fence for probably over 10 months or more. Um, the chain link fence didn't come down until the end of this winter. So once that happened, it seemed a lot more open, a lot more free. Um, down by us, we now have only orange fencing. So um, I was always a big fan of orange, but orange has since become not my favorite color because there's a lot of orange fence, a lot of orange barricades, all great signs that progress is being made, but um, nonetheless, a lot of orange and a lot of orange clay, so. I'm Robin Angel, and my husband and I are the owners of Cellar Door Wine Shop here in downtown Concord. Um, we've only been open since the very end of January, so um, we're still very new at the business, very new to the downtown, but we knew when we opened what we were getting into as far as the construction. We knew it would move up to our end as soon as we opened the door, which is literally what happened. Um, and so we expected to have some issues, um, you know, with foot traffic and things like that during our first year or so in operations. And, you know, it, we've definitely seen some impact, but overall, um, you know, we're, we're very fortunate to be on the corner and to be able to have access for books. Hey, my name is Sheila Wilson, and I'm a bartender here at the local bottle shop on Union Street in Concord. Um, we opened in May, so the construction was already started. It, that's all we really know, So, but business has been good. The community has been very um, positive with us, and um, we've started to develop a, a good clientele and working with a lot of the other businesses. Um, we can't wait until the construction is done so we can get all the great benefits from it. We've already started receiving great benefits from the social districting. Um, we do a lot of events from trivia night to um, brunches, yoga even in some mornings. Uh, so that's been bringing in a lot of people and a lot of different people. Um, so just keeping in contact with the community and having a good um, you know, event process has really helped our business. And you just kind of got to put up with the construction for a little bit, but it's, it's really great. They'll have this opened up today, yeah. So the Cabarrus will be back open, yeah. 